in the small, close-knit town of Willowbrook. There was a buzz of excitement surrounding the highly anticipated high school graduation dance. Among the residents, there was one remarkable individual who stood out, Amelia Thompson. Despite facing physical challenges due to her disability, Amelia was a bright and determined girl with an exceptional talent for art. Her paintbrush transformed her vivid imagination into vibrant landscapes and breathtaking portraits, earning her admiration and respect from the community. Amelia's disability never defined her, instead. It fueled her ambition and dreams. She aspired to attend the upcoming high school graduation dance, an event that held great significance for everyone in Willowbrook. Like many teenagers, Amelia had her fair share of challenges and insecurities. But she refused to let them hinder her spirit. Among Amelia's dreams, one stood out prominently. She longed to attend the dance with her longtime crush, Jason. Jason was a popular and athletic boy. Adored by his peers for his charming smile and easygoing nature. Amelia found herself captivated by him like many other girls in town. However, when Amelia gathered the courage to ask Jason to the dance, she faced heartbreak as he cruelly rejected her. The rejection stung deeply, exacerbating the prejudice and discrimination she already encountered from her peers. It seemed that her disability became an obstacle in her pursuit of happiness. But fate had a different plan for Amelia. Just as she was grappling with her emotions and disappointment, a group of six cadets from the military academy arrived in Willowbrook. These cadets were known for their honor, discipline and sense of justice. As they witnessed the mistreatment of Amelia and the insensitivity displayed by Jason, they felt compelled to intervene. In this picturesque town, where unity and kindness thrived, the cadets took it upon themselves to address the injustice faced by Amelia. With their guidance and support, the community rallied behind Amelia, condemning the discrimination she endured. The town of Willowbrook, known for its tight-knit bonds and strong values, united to ensure that Amelia would not be denied the joy of attending the high school graduation dance. They embraced her artistic talents and celebrated her strength, realizing that her disability was merely a part of who she was, not a barrier to her dreams. Amelia's resilience and the unwavering support of her community transformed the narrative. With newfound confidence, she made a grand entrance at the dance, radiating both beauty and determination. As she twirled across the dance floor in her wheelchair, the room was captivated by her grace and spirit. Amelia's story became an inspiration for the people of Willowbrook, reminding them of the power of acceptance and the importance of looking beyond appearances. In this small town, prejudices were shattered and barriers were torn down, paving the way for a more inclusive and compassionate community. And so as the music filled the air and laughter echoed through the room, Amelia's dream of attending the high school graduation dance became a reality. Her indomitable spirit and remarkable talent served as a testament to the fact that one's dreams could never be confined by societal expectations or physical limitations. Amelia's journey began in the school art room, where she first encountered Jason. Despite her insecurities about her disability, she found solace in his genuine interest in her paintings. Fueled by a deep longing for Jason to appreciate her for who she truly was, Amelia set her sights on asking him to the upcoming dance. As the days dwindled down to the dance, Amelia's anticipation grew palpable. She devoted countless hours to sketching and designing the perfect dress, envisioning herself gracefully twirling, across the dance floor with Jason as her companion. Her unwavering optimism and relentless spirit garnered admiration from friends and family who supported her every step of the way. However, beneath their encouragement lay a lingering concern about 
the potential rejection and its impact on Amelia's self-esteem. Undeterred by the worries of others, Amelia forged ahead. With each passing day, her determination swelled. She practiced her approach to Jason. Meticulously rehearsing the words she would summon the courage to utter. In the solace of her room, she tirelessly replayed their imagined conversation. Desperately hoping for a seamless unfolding of events. Amelia observed Jason from a distance at school. Marveling at his affable nature and innate kindness. Amelia was captivated by Jason's selfless nature. And genuine interest in people's lives. His dedication to helping others. Only intensified her desire to attend the dance with him. She believed that he, more than anyone else, would see her true self beyond her wheelchair. As the day to ask Jason to the dance drew closer, Amelia experienced a mix of excitement and anxiety. She knew she was taking a risk and opening herself up emotionally. But she believed it was a chance worth taking. It would allow her to defy societal expectations. And demonstrate that. She was fully capable of experiencing love and happiness like anyone else. Amelia's unwavering determination. And hopeful heart carried her through the days leading up to the dance. She understood that regardless of the outcome. She would have no regrets. Because she dared to pursue her dreams and embrace her vulnerability. This resilience and optimistic spirit defined Amelia's dreamer's heart. An influential force that would guide her through. The challenges and personal growth that awaited her on the journey of self-discovery. Finally, the long-awaited day arrived when Amelia would gather her courage and ask Jason to be her date for the graduation dance. Her heart raced with anticipation as she prepared for the moment. Clutching a small hand-painted card she had made specifically for him, the card showcased a breathtaking night sky adorned with countless stars. Symbolizing the magical evening she envisioned sharing with him. Amelia navigated the bustling school hallways in her wheelchair. Determined to find Jason. Her friends followed closely behind. Offering words of encouragement and unwavering support. Amelia took solace in the fact that. She had a tight-knit group of friends who believed in her. And would always be by her side. Finally, Amelia spotted Jason by his locker surrounded by his friends. As she approached him, her heart pounded in her chest. But she gathered her strength and took a deep breath. With trembling in her voice, she called out to him. Capturing his attention and the curious gazes of those around them. In her hands, she held a beautifully hand-painted card. A symbol of her heartfelt invitation. Silence fell over the crowd as everyone eagerly awaited Jason's response. The atmosphere was thick with anticipation. And Amelia's cheeks flushed with a mix of nerves and hope. She braced herself, waiting to hear his answer. Her heart filled with a mixture of excitement and anxiety. To Amelia's dismay, Jason's face twisted into a cruel smile. And he openly mocked her in front of their peers. His callous words cut through her like a knife. Shattering her heart into countless pieces. He declared, in a hurtful manner, that he had no interest in attending the dance with someone like her. His implication that her disability made her undesirable. And unworthy left Amelia devastated. Struggling to process the pain of rejection. Despite the hurt and humiliation, Amelia refused to let Jason's words define her. She reminded herself of her strength, resilience and the unwavering support of her true friends. With their encouragement, Amelia resolved to rise above this heartbreak and continue to pursue her dreams. She knew that her worth and beauty lay far beyond the superficial judgments of others. Amelia's eyes welled up with tears as she felt the weight of cruel laughter and stares from the crowd, gripping the edges of her wheelchair. She fought the urge to crumble under the humiliation and pain. However, her friends quickly rushed to her side, shielding her from the heartless scene. With care and concern, 
they whisked her away from the callous crowd. The shock and hurt in their eyes mirrored Amelia's own feelings. As they enveloped her in a warm, protective embrace, her dream had been shattered, leaving her heartbroken and vulnerable. The cruel rejection had cut deep, leading her to question her worth and place in the world. Retreating to the safety of her home, Amelia began grappling with the harsh reality of the prejudices. She faced and the limitations imposed by society. Little did she know that this moment of despair would become the catalyst for a journey of resilience, self-discovery and growth. She would learn to navigate the complexities of life and love in the face of adversity. Unbeknownst to Amelia and her friends, a group of military cadets happened to be touring the school and witnessed the cruel rejection unfold before their eyes. Appalled by Jason's actions, these cadets, who had been taught the values of empathy, respect, and the importance of standing up for others, felt compelled to address the situation even after Amelia had left the scene. Jason and his friends were approached by a group of authoritative cadets, whose mere presence silenced the laughter and chatter. The leader of the group, a tall and stern cadet named Samuel, directly confronted Jason about his heartless behavior. Samuel recounted the incident, forcing Jason to acknowledge the gravity of his actions and the pain he had inflicted upon Amelia. In a heartfelt manner, Samuel explained the importance of empathy and treating others with respect, regardless of their abilities or appearances. He shared inspiring stories of fellow cadets who had overcome adversity and achieved great things despite the challenges they faced. Other cadets joined in, expressing their disappointment in Jason's actions and urging him to reflect on the consequences of his words and behavior. As the words of the cadets watched over him, Jason felt a growing sense of guilt and shame. He began to comprehend the impact of his actions. And the thought of the pain he had caused Amelia made his stomach churn. The cadet's story struck a chord with him, opening his eyes to the experiences of others, and emphasizing the importance of showing kindness and understanding. The confrontation left Jason feeling humbled and remorseful. The cadet's intervention became a turning point for him, forcing him to confront the ugly side of his behavior, and sparking a desire to change. As the cadets left him to reflect on their words, Jason realized he had a long road ahead of him to make amends and learn from his mistakes. Unbeknownst to both Amelia and Jason, this encounter would prove to be the catalyst for growth and transformation, not only for them but also for their relationship. In the aftermath of the encounter with the military cadets, the entire community was deeply impacted by the lessons of empathy and respect demonstrated by these cadets. Their influence brought about a transformative change in the lives of both the individuals directly involved and those around them. This experience instilled a newfound appreciation for the beauty of diversity and the resilience of the human spirit. For Jason, the words spoken by the cadets and the image of Amelia's heartbroken face haunted him incessantly. The weight of guilt consumed him, accompanied by a profound understanding of the repercussions of his actions, driven by a deep desire to make amends. He mustered the courage to seek out Amelia and offer a sincere apology, hoping to set things right. As their friendship deepened, Jason found himself increasingly drawn to the values and principles embodied by the military cadets. Amelia's unwavering strength in the face of adversity opened his eyes to the significance of empathy, respect, and service to others, realizing that joining the cadets would not only contribute to his personal growth, but also enable him to make a positive impact on others' lives. Jason reconsidered his life's path, encouraged and supported by Amelia. Jason pursued his newfound ambition to join the military cadets. They navigated the challenges that arose from this decision, 
strengthening their bond with each obstacle they faced. Amelia and Jason's unlikely friendship sparked a profound transformation. In both of their lives. Teaching them the true essence of empathy, respect and the power. Of resilience in overcoming adversity. As they embarked on their respective journeys. Amelia and Jason cherished the lessons. They had learned and the friendship they had forged. They knew that the events that. Brought them together had forever changed their lives. The night of the graduation dance arrived. Filling the air with anticipation and excitement. Amelia, determined not to let her past heartbreak define her experience. Decided to attend the dance accompanied by her new friends. The military cadets. With Jason's help. Amelia transformed her initial dress design into a stunning reality. The beautiful gown accentuated her grace and strength. Allowing her to radiate as she gracefully entered the venue. The military cadets, dressed impeccably in their uniforms, proudly escorted her. While Jason, looking sharp in a suit, walked by her side. Grateful for the opportunity to be a part of her special night. As the music began to play. The dance floor came alive with laughter and movement. Amelia, surrounded by her friends in the cadets danced and celebrated with infectious joy, inspiring the entire community. Amelia's resilience, coupled with the unwavering support of her newfound friends, began to shift the community's perception of her. People started to understand the significance of looking beyond physical limitations and recognizing the unique qualities that each person possesses throughout the evening. Amelia's radiant smile never faded. And her happiness was undeniable. She reveled in the love and support that enveloped her. As the night progressed, the attendees of the dance acknowledged Amelia's courage and grace in the face of adversity by electing her as the queen of the event. This moment marked a turning point. Not only for Amelia and Jason but also for the entire community. The presence of the military cadets, Amelia's indomitable spirit, and Jason's personal transformation served as powerful reminders of the values of empathy, respect and resilience. As the night drew to a close, the once divided community now stood united, embracing the beauty of diversity and the strength of the human spirit. The graduation dance would be remembered not only as a night of celebration, but also as a testament to the power of compassion, friendship, and the limitless potential that lies within each individual. The impact of the graduation dance reverberated throughout the town of Willowbrook, sparking a profound realization among its residents. People began acknowledging the significance of empathy, respect, and the need to look beyond physical appearances in order to truly comprehend and appreciate each individual's unique qualities. This newfound understanding took hold within the community, leading to a noticeable shift in attitudes and behaviors. Neighboring residents initiated connections with one another, extending support and encouragement in various ways. Schools embraced programs aimed at fostering inclusivity and understanding creating an environment where all students felt a sense of belonging. Local businesses responded by enhancing accessibility and accommodating the diverse needs of individuals, ensuring that everyone could fully participate in the vibrant life of the town. Amelia perseveres in the pursuit of her dreams, while Jason embarks on a journey of self-discovery as a military cadet. This story leaves readers with a powerful message about the significance of looking beyond limitations, respecting people's unique abilities, and refusing to let disabilities define an individual. Grace, a dedicated woman, devoted her entire career to a corporation, only to lose her position due to advancing age. However, a few months later, after persistently standing her ground, she proved herself as one of their top managers, Grace had always aspired to be a lawyer since she was a young girl. Her passion for speaking 
and her exceptional performance on the school debate team helped her secure a position at one of the city's leading legal firms. With her law degree in hand, she worked at the firm for 40 years, gradually advancing from a paralegal to one of the most reputable and accomplished attorneys. Even at the age of 68, Grace had no intentions of retiring, unless her clients no longer required her services. I'll be here for however long you need me. You can always find me in my office, she would reassure them. Clients would patiently wait in line to seek her counsel and assistance with their individual problems. Her success in winning cases was undeniable, and she remained determined to practice law for as long as she possibly could. However, attorney Williams, one of the firm's managing partners, held a different perspective. He would often insinuate in their meetings that the company needed new talent, and that Grace might consider giving up her seat to someone else. This deeply offended Grace, and she refused to step down. She questioned why she should vacate her seat, when they could simply add more chairs to the table. In response to this, Grace retaliated. Disregarding Grace's feelings and desires, Attorney Williams was insistent on her departure, arguing that as her superior, she had no choice but to submit to him. However, Attorney Williams had no intention of pushing Grace out so quickly. After all, she was one of their top attorneys, and many clients preferred to work with her. Recognizing her advantage, Grace decided to file a discrimination lawsuit against the law firm out of anger. She cancelled her client meetings and spent the entire day in her office, preparing her legal defense against the managing partner. Once she completed the case, she forcefully slammed a copy of it onto attorney William's desk and shouted, You're mistaken. If you think you can let go of me just because you want to. Until I declare my retirement. I'm still working. I'll see you in court. Williams shook his head and laughed at Grace. You're just wasting your time, he sarcastically questioned. Believing that intimidating Grace would be enough. However, he groaned when he realized how determined she was to take the matter to court. If this is the path you wish to take, then so be it, I'll see you in court, he said to her. The other management partners watched as Grace left Attorney Williams' office. While they typically avoided getting involved in disputes within the firm, they knew they had to keep an eye on this one, especially since it involved the managing partner and a key employee. Initially, they questioned Attorney Williams about the value of filing a lawsuit just to terminate Grace's employment. She's getting older but she's still one of our top attorneys. Why don't we just keep her, someone inquired. Williams shook his head and replied. They only chose her. Because we couldn't provide them with younger attorneys. Who show more promise. She will inevitably lose. After all, I'm a managing partner and she's just a worker. The managing partners understood that. Grace had no chance of succeeding in her case against the firm. Despite their reservations about the lawsuit's necessity, they closely followed the case and were left speechless when Grace emerged victorious over attorney Williams. Williams was featured on the front page of local newspapers. Due to the actions of attorney Williams, this caused people to lose faith in the firm, leading him to resign. The company, named Grace, was appointed as the new managing partner to fill the vacant position. Her clients testified to her expertise, tenacity, and strong work ethic as she gradually rebuilt the firm's reputation. Grace firmly believed in defending one's rights and was aware that the managing partner firm had no grounds to terminate her, especially considering her status as one of their top performing attorneys. She decided to sue the company after being unjustly fired, and ultimately emerged victorious, showcasing the benefits of standing up for one's rights. In pursuit of their passion, age should not be a hindrance, 
as even at 68 years old. Grace remained a brilliant attorney who garnered the respect of her clients. She resisted the notion of retirement. Since she was still fully capable of prevailing in court and defending clients. Including herself. Another similar story involves Susan. A woman in her 60s who was forced out of the workplace. Susan had been employed in the insurance industry for many years. But her success took a downturn. When she began reporting to a younger manager. 20 years her junior. Despite receiving positive performance evaluations for years. Praising her exceptional work ethic. Susan felt she was being set up for failure under her new manager. She was burdened with more cases. And held to higher standards compared to her younger co-workers. Susan's manager conducted a formal performance evaluation. Falsely stating that she was performing poorly in her tasks. And subsequently terminated her employment after just a few days. Despite being given a 90-day period to make changes. Susan has proceeded to file a lawsuit against her employer. Citing age discrimination. Mary, a 72-year-old sociology professor. Possesses an impressive academic background. Numerous teaching honors and an impressive resume, including three terms as department chair. However, when a much younger dean was appointed at the university, Mary's career took a downturn. The new dean denied her funding to hire necessary full-time faculty, accused her of poor leadership, and showed favoritism towards her younger colleagues. As a result, Mary's distinguished career recognition came to an end. Eventually, the dean informed her that she would not be allowed to serve as department chair for another term. Mary responded by suing the institution for age discrimination. And the case has recently been resolved. Jane, who had worked as a bartender at a local tavern for over 10 years, found herself facing discrimination based on her age and gender when the bar was sold. The purchasers openly made sexist remarks about Jane's age and gender in front of other staff members and customers, asserting that she was too old to continue bartending. Consequently, she was not retained, and younger women were hired in her place. Jane took legal action, alleging both age and gender discrimination. Susan, Mary, and Jane may come from diverse backgrounds and occupations but they all share a common thread that is often overlooked. Senior women are frequently pushed out of the workforce. For the past five years, I have been lecturing and conducting research on workplace bias, women's leadership, and career advancement. During my travels across the country, I have encountered numerous cases where women in their 50s and 60s have experienced demotions job losses and difficulties in finding new employment, primarily due to their age and gender. While these women often boast an extensive track record of professional accomplishments, they have faced various challenges, such as having their responsibilities reassigned to younger employees, experiencing unexplained pay cuts, and encountering limited career advancement opportunities. Due to a workplace culture that prioritizes youth over experience, many women who believe they have been victims of age discrimination feel that their only recourse is to sue their employers. Even though this course of action presents significant difficulties, despite the fact that age discrimination is illegal under both state and federal laws, a Supreme Court ruling in 2009 has made it considerably harder for plaintiffs to prove their cases by shifting the burden of proof onto them. Senior women who aspire to change careers or re-enter the workforce face additional obstacles that impede their professional progress. These challenges become apparent for many women as soon as they are relieved of familial obligations that previously hindered their advancement when they were younger. They were often perceived as working mothers and if their dedication to their families affected their job performance, 
During those years, they would hurriedly return to the workforce. Only to find that older women were met with less tolerance. Effectively halting their careers. A recent study provides support for these observations. Researchers from Tulane University and the University of California. Irvine conducted a study, published last autumn. That uncovered compelling evidence of age. Discrimination against older women in hiring practices. The study involved submitting 40,000 fictitious job applications to numerous online job advertisements. And its findings indicate that older women encounter more challenges in securing employment compared to older men. Resumes were crafted for applicants within specific age groups. 64 to 66 years old. 49 to 51 years old. And 29 to 31 years old. The study's findings suggest that older female workers face greater challenges in securing employment. Based on observations of business responses to these fictitious applications. Notably, the authors discovered that while callback rates for middle-aged and young male applicants were similar, they were lower for middle-aged female sales applicants compared to their younger counterparts. The study proposes two hypotheses to explain why older women may experience more age discrimination than older men. The first hypothesis posits that age discrimination laws inadequately address the unique situation faced by older women who encounter both age and gender biases. The second hypothesis focuses on society's disproportionate emphasis on women's physical appearance which does not seem to affect men similarly. This issue is evident in industries like Hollywood, where actors and actresses such as Kim Cattrall and Catherine Zeta-Jones have voiced concerns about the lack of opportunities for older women. The connection between age and gender discrimination has long been discussed in hushed conversations and discrete legal cases. Surprisingly, there is limited research on the subject. Although this study represents a commendable initial step in shedding light on the issue, it is crucial to address and eliminate age and gender discrimination. This requires further investigation, the generation of potential solutions, and the willingness of organizations to reflect on their practices and make necessary adjustments before 2030. One out of every five Americans or one in three will reach the age of 65 or older. Women in particular will face challenges in employment opportunities, making it harder for them to build sufficient post-retirement savings and social security benefits. Additionally, women tend to outlive men, increasing their likelihood of requiring more healthcare services and facing the challenges of being widowed. To ensure that all generations are valued for the skills they bring to the workforce, it is crucial for managers to identify and eliminate biases against older women. We need to create a workplace that provides equal opportunities for women of all ages if we truly want 50 to be the new third age.